All right, for our next set of lab components, we're going to learn about the date and time picker components. To work with date and time pickers, we need to install a date library and a date adapter. I am going to be using date functions package, so let me show the necessary setup. In the terminal, run the command yarn add date hyphen functions and at date hyphen io slash date functions. Next, in the app component, import localization provider from at MUI slash lab. Wrap the entire component tree with the component. Next, import the date functions adapter. So import adapter date functions from at MUI slash lab slash adapter date functions. On the localization provider, we can now specify date adapter is equal to adapter date functions. This is the initial setup necessary to work with date and time pickers in Material UI. Let's now focus on the date picker. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI picker.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm going to import the stack component and replace the div tag with the same. I'll also change spacing to 4 and SX width 250 pixels. This will add spacing between the different components we will be creating. Now to add a date picker to our application, we need to import two components. Import date picker from MUI slash lab and the text field component from the core library. Next, we also need a state variable to manage the selected date value. So let's import useState as well. Import useState from React. Within the component, create the state variable. Selected date, set selected date, and the initial value is null. The type though is date or null. For the JSX, within the stack component, invoke the date picker component. On this component, we specify a label prop. I will assign the string date picker. This could also be per date, date of joining, etc. Next, we specify the render input prop, which controls the element that is displayed as the date picker. This will be the text field input component. So render input, and this will be an arrow function, which returns the text field component. The function receives a few params, which we simply spread on the text field component. Finally, let's handle the value and change in value. So value is equal to selected date and on change is going to be equal to an arrow function. The function receives the new value selected and we set it as the selected date. Let's also log selected date to the console. If you now include the component in app component, and take a look at the browser, we should be able to see the date picker. The initial value is null. You can enter a valid date and you can see the change in the selected value logged in the console. 
You can also pick a date by clicking on the icon. If the date entered is invalid, a red border appears on the text field. This is pretty much the basic usage of the date picker from Material UI. Let's now move on to the time picker component. And let me tell you, time picker works very similar to date picker. At the top, import time picker from the lab package. Next, create a state variable to manage the selected time. Selected time, set selected time. The initial value is null. The type will still remain date. So date or null. As for the JSX, I'm going to copy paste the date picker and change date to time. So time picker, the label is also time picker. The value is selected time and on change we call set selected time. That pretty much is the code required. Let's log selected time to the console to track the value. If we head to the browser, refresh, you can see the time picker in action. Select hours, minutes, and also AM or PM. When you select a time though, the selected value is the current date along with the selected time. Ideally, you would send the same to the server and handle extracting the time where necessary. However, if you wish to preview the selected time on the front end, you can log selected time is selected time and if it exists, selected time dot to locale time string. Head back to the browser, select a time And you can see a more user-friendly time being logged in the console. This is how the time picker component works. Now Material UI also provides a date time picker, which is a combination of the two components we have just seen. The usage is again very similar, so let me quickly walk you through the code. At the top, import date time picker from the lab package. Next, create a state variable to track the value. Let's call this selected date time, set selected date time, and the initial value is null. Next, duplicate the time picker component and replace time picker with date time picker. The label is now date time picker and the value is selected date time and on change call set selected date time. Finally, log selected date time to the console. If we now head to the browser, refresh and we have the date time picker. Select a date and then a time. The selected date time is logged in the console. I hope you've now got an idea of how to use the date, time and date time picker components from Material UI. In the next video, let's take a look at a date range picker component. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.